Alright, right here is the uh, the five axle Core G low boy. Low, low loader. Low. low loader or low boy. Uh, just explain the parts here. Right here is the gooseneck. It's a hydraulic gooseneck. This is the uh, fifth wheel adapter. Uh, maybe I guess they seem to be about the same. Maybe it's for height. I don't know why, but this is the gooseneck. I guess this would be the adapter. And this is the actual low boy part or low loader. These are your ramps that your machine would drive up on. Uh, now I'm not going to do one of those reviews where all you say is uh, in the video I basically recommend getting this model. I'm not going to do that. Uh, one of those reviews because basically it's a nice model. Not only it's a nice model, but everyone says that and everybody thinks you should get every model that's a half. <coughs> so uh, let's actually speak the truth here. Uh, the gooseneck, the casting is really good. It's a clean cast. There's nothing really bad to say about it. The only thing is that the uh, cylinders right there don't move. Whatever. For the price that we got it for, you really can't beat it. Uh, really nice. It, we ba we paid 25 for it. So, yeah. So, I mean, you really can't beat it. But the only bad thing about this is the cylinders don't move. But besides that, it's really good. Uh, you, you got really nice clean cast things. The paint is really nice on this. So that, not much to say about this. This is really detailed. You got the bolt detail, everything like that. Uh, getting back to the uh, low loader. It, the, to the low loader. Uh, right here, you got your ramps, which are nice because they're long. They're not like those little uh, short ones. They're long, which which is always good. Yeah. Such. A, here's the first gear uh, from Matt Granite. These are nice. But they're just, I just think that's too short. These are nice and long. They're good. Uh, looking up on the side here. Five axles, which I mean, what can this haul? 110 tons? It's, it's, it could haul a lot. It could definitely haul a lot. Your deck is nice. You have uh, your wood detail, which, I mean, it does have the wood texture, but it's not real wood. It's a cast set, I think, I'm guessing it would be plastic or die cast, I'm not sure. Uh, you got your ribs right there, which those, very heavy, those are nice. Uh, there's not really much to say. The gooseneck attaches the holes right there. You put it on there, I'll show you. Like that, but obviously, if like that, it does fall up, down, but uh... If you hook it up to a uh, tractor, if we can get a tractor over here. Okay, if you could just hold on. I'll put the adapter on. Now, give me the other phone. When you hook it up to a tractor, the weight pushing against it, it does hold up. So, if anyone buys it and the fifth wheel just falls off, put it right, hold the weight, it's good. But, like that, that's the adapter, the gooseneck, your tractors, that's a 357, that's a Century Freightliner, a series. Uh, there you got your ramps of your back wheels, which are nice, they are diamond plate. I don't know if they're die cast or not. You also got your ramps right here, which are also, you know, they're not too steep or on an angle, they're a nice angle. Uh, on their side of it's nice, see, Corgi right there. Your axles, you know, there's no, like, uh, the air chambers under there. I mean, which I'm fine with. It doesn't really bother me. The axles, they roll smoothly. Uh, your ramps. Only thing is, I don't know if, if this is real or not, but the ramps, they're very high. Don't know, like that. Roll smoothly. You got your back, your lights there. Some, uh, shackles, which they are casted in. So, uh, they don't come off. Um, let's get a load on here. Uh, two 924Gs. Like I said, the ramps are nice. So, I mean, the low by itself, I mean, I don't, I don't know how much it can haul. It could probably haul a lot. There's the gooseneck. Put your ramps up. 
Maybe you put your ramps up last. I don't know. Century. And you're hooked up. Um, what we got a we bought it off eBay for seventy five. It was buy it now. We got if you break it down, they're twenty five each. Twenty five, twenty five, and twenty five. They equal seventy five bucks. We bought them all for seventy five. So we paid twenty five for this, twenty five for that, twenty five for this. Uh, for size comparison, everybody knows what three sixty five. So that you get an idea of the size of the low boy. It is very wide. The only thing that uh, I'm a little skeptical on is the uh, width of it. If it's uh, that big, it uh, you know, it should be a little wider. But otherwise than that, it's a really nice model. The casting is nice. The paint finish is nice on it. Uh, the wheels are smooth. Everything's nice on it. Uh, but uh, there's the uh, the Corgi low loader. This, that's uh, 150th scale, by the way.